So the castle is in order. It's working. I, I decided to rewire it so it wasn't plugged in over here. And the only thing that's plugged in over here is my protein skimmer. It just because I didn't want to overload all these plugs. But uh, I basically just threw it on a timer on that down there. That's my timer for everything. Um, basically just took some of the old logs that I used to use under my other light and storage over here. This light here. Oh, we got Febreze down here. Not very much. <laughs> Anyways, this light here, I used to use this light. Now I'm running reef LEDs made by Lifeguard Aquatics. This light kept burning out bulbs. It's an older light. It's still good, don't get me wrong. But it's just not what I need anymore. But the cool thing about this Kessel, Blue. Bloom. Glow, or grow. And red. I'm gonna put it on red for right now. Or bloom, so that my Chato does better. But the intensity, notice the intensity, it's very low. I will not turn it past right there right now. I'm letting this thing warm up. It's kind of warm. I have it on two logs, so. But otherwise, I wouldn't have been able to use it today. Honestly, I could probably light my whole tank with this one light people probably think I'm crazy but yeah if you had a, a timer setter or uh, the Kessel's the Kessel uh, control board and all that you, you can control this thing to control your whole tank like say I wanted to move this light here I could put that thing right there on the glass and it do its job the same way it just create algae inside the tank though which I wiped out a major buttload of it, and it just comes back. I wiped all that out a week ago, or literally, what, five days ago? My clown's hiding in the corner for some reason. Mm -hmm. Somebody must be bullying him. There's Groucho, the oldest living fish in my tank. Honestly think he killed my maroon, to be honest when I had a maroon. Now the asshole of the tank's right there. This little damsel here. Anyway, hope you guys enjoy this content. Like, comment, subscribe. I know I've posted like five videos today. Anyway. Tell me what you don't like. Oh, I also put in this right here. It's a little feeder. Defrost the food so they can eat it as they please instead of me force feeding them all the time. It will also allow me to control the input into the tank, aka the input of food into the tank. And that way they know where to go for food now instead of, you know, the old norm. Phone almost just fell in the tank. Oh wow, that's cool too. I didn't see that. There's a little hole on the top, so I'm gonna have to find a different place to put this. But yeah, I just put some food in there, some flake food to show you guys an example. And pretty much the flake food just goes out this top hole here.
Did you just see him? My clown attack. I've been trying to figure it out for weeks who's been killing all my damn hermit crabs. We now know. I just saw him attack one. I thought it was the hermit crabs battling hermit crabs. Man, was I wrong. I've got blues in there. I've got a couple reds in there, but they keep killing the red, or the reds keep killing the blues. So, and if the bl they're not getting killed by them, they're getting killed by him. Guarantee it, because he loves him some crab. You could tell he went up and bit at one of their legs. Anyway, hope you guys enjoy this content, short but sweet. I'm glad I got a new Kessel or a Kessel. It's not that hot yet. I thought it would be a lot hotter than that. But this is the way I'm going to have it set up for now until I uh, obviously set it up differently. Next video is going to be potassium dosing and algae barn dosing, phytoplankton dosing, aka food. So stay tuned. And don't forget, with the faith of a mustard seed, you can move any mountain. Don't let molehills become mountains or obstacles in your way. And have a very, very, very blessed day.